Hi everybody, um, back for another video. Um, this one is actually kind of cool. We've got some uh, pretty elaborate setup going on all over here. Um, and also here with me are my kids this week. So say hi, hi you guys. Um, so they're here in my classroom helping me, um, helping me out. So here is what we've got. Let's see, we've got Bunsen burner and the um, Globes, very similar to the ones we've used in the past, although this one's different in that it's clean. Um, we've also got this whole thing up here, glassware, and then down here. Now, what this is, is this is as close to me being a mad scientist as you'll see. Um, because, right, doesn't this look like what you'll find with... Um, in those cartoons where they have like all the elaborate thing and it, you have like the big copper wire that spirals down and they get that one little drop. Yeah, that's kind of what we're doing. Because today I'm going to do the unthinkable. Not the impossible, it's possible. Otherwise I wouldn't be doing it. But the unthinkable. I'm gonna do something that's kind of not cool. I am going to turn coffee back into water. Why would I do that? I have no good explanation as to that other than I'm trying to demonstrate it for you. Because honestly, destroying coffee and turning it back into water sounds like a something that shouldn't be done. You know how much I love coffee. So um, let's go ahead and I'm gonna set my phone down in my tripod so that you guys can kind of see what's going on and we'll get this thing rolling. All right, so um, I'm gonna take this. And this is my coffee. Notice, no, notice the mug. Come on. It's a helicon. That's pretty cool. Um, and I'm going to need to go over to the sink because I'm going to make a mess if I don't. Um, and I'm going to pour my coffee from this morning into the globe. All right. There we go. Now, we're going to set it on here. And I have to move this up so that these connect. That needs to go in just like that. And then this holds everything up so that it stays together. Now all this stuff is sealed. Um, it's not, it's got, um, it's just the way the glass is made. It's sealed very um, well. So yeah. And then what we're gonna do now is now I'm gonna light, the, light this and turn on some heat. And what the heat's gonna do, well, it's gonna heat it up, right? That's what the burner does. It's gonna cause this to evaporate. Now, if we don't heat it up too far, and we just heat it up enough to get the water to evaporate and nothing else, then what happens is the water evaporates and will leave all the stuff that makes coffee awesome in the globe. And then that steam's gonna come up here. Now this is a condenser. It's a tube within a tube. And we have the inner, the inner tube is where the formerly known as coffee will be. And the outer tube I'm gonna fill up with cold water. And what that will do is it will cause the stuff that used to be coffee to cool down really quickly, condense back into water itself. It'll run down the tube, down through this, and into this lovely mug. It looks like a beaker. It's not a beaker. It's got a handle. And if you can see it, that molecule that's on there, that's a caffeine molecule. It seems appropriate. All right, so I'm going to put this on here so that way it can drip. I'm going to turn on a separate camera so we can have um, a recording of it sitting there and dripping. And then I am going to light the Bunsen burner and we're going to let this thing run for a while. And this is going to be a case where we will have to time lapse this because it will take a while, but we will be turning coffee back into water. Yeah. All right, so now we're going to light the burner and uh, turn on the water and watch this thing go. So.
Now, remember I said I didn't want to get the heat up too far or too fast, because if this thing starts going boiling and, and doing its thing, then you'll actually get coffee up into the condenser and it won't, we won't get clean, clear water out at the other end. And what I want is clean, clear water. So that means this is gonna take a while. Okay, what you saw me do there, I turned on the water. You can now see the water flowing through the um, condenser, and then I rotated the condenser so that way the spouts were up instead of down, so that way it would fill up more with the water. And you can see this part down here is full of water, and that's okay. That will be enough to condense our steam back into water. Now. I should get into this part. This is one of the, this might be the oldest chemistry experiment that has ever existed. And the reason why it might be the oldest one is because it's the only one that we know of that people actually did forever ago. Um, because this has uses. Now, their apparatus didn't look like this. This is fancy, it's glass, it's labware. But the process was the same. Evaporation, recondensing, you can purify water this way. Even really gross water. Um, I mean, I'm turning coffee back into water. Uh, the other thing that you can do with this is, this is called a still. And um, it's used to make adult beverages stronger. And, um, that would be why it's the oldest uh, chemistry experiment known to man. Um, and it's going really slow. So I'm going to um, let this run and then turn on the time lapse and you guys can see what's going on. And we'll I'll come back when the um, water starts dripping out the other side. All right, so um, in the time lapse, I'm sure you saw me playing with the, the temperature and everything, um, trying to get the boiling just right, because if it boils too much, you end up getting coffee up into here because of the bubbles just splash it up there, and then you don't get clean water out, and actually, I think that's what we did. There's a little bit of brown up in here um, from where it boiled over, and therefore, we're gonna get a little bit of brown into um, the water as it comes out, but it's only going to be like a drop of coffee in a whatever volume of water we get out of there. So, um, and we have, we are dripping. You can see the drips coming through there and I will, I've got the second camera, uh, zoomed in on that. So you should be able to see that we do have, uh, water dripping through and we are turning our coffee back into pure water. All right, so this is gonna run forever and I'll leave the time-lapse on the, uh, the computer and I'll back it up so we can see the whole thing. Um, but I'm going to turn the, uh, this camera off so that way I can use it. I have other um, videos to record today. So, but I will leave the, um, the other camera on so that way we can continue to time-lapse this for the, um, 
the duration of all of this. So, yeah. Pink. Okay, I'm back. You see the lab coat because I'm doing something else, but I wanted to show you guys a little bit of progress here. We have considerable amounts of uh, water in there. The level of coffee in our globe has gone down significantly. I am going to turn it off now because I have to actually go teach a class and I don't want this thing to boil dry and ruin my globe. So I'm gonna turn it off, we've got enough, and I'm gonna let, um, let it sit because everything will cool and then I'll be right back. Okay, um, back, it's been about 45 minutes since the last time I recorded this for you guys, um, which means everything's been cooling. You can tell it's off, there's no burner, everything's cooling down, um, and this is no longer hot. It was surprisingly hot um, before, but now it's not. Pretty clear, tiny, tiny bit of not clear from that one little point where I had a bubble um, bubble up into the condenser, but for the most part, it's um, it's water, but you know what? It tastes a little bit like coffee. Not really though, it's pretty clear. It might just be from the cup. So that's what I usually drink out of this cup. That's why it says caffeine on it. Anyways, cool. The power of science.